We've made it to 20,000 Major League Baseball players. He's here and he's perfect. He's Mr. 20K, Mariners backup catcher, Jose Godoy. I know that sounds like a big number, 20,000, but that wouldn't even fill half of most Major League Baseball stadiums. It is a pretty exclusive club. So, my friend Jake, how did we get here? How did we get to 20K? Jordan Schusterman, it all began with Deacon White, who became the first player officially in MLB history on April 4th, 1871, when he led off the game with a double for the Cleveland Forest Cities. What a name. Now, six more Deacons would follow him, as would nine bishops and one pope. Praise God. Since then, the game has changed a ton, obviously. In fact, overhand pitching wasn't even allowed for another 13 more years before Old Haas Radborn in 1884 took advantage of that new overhand rule to dominate the league to the tune of a 1-3-8 ERA in 678 and two-thirds innings. How many innings? Yes, Jake, 678 and two-thirds innings. Now, Radborn did not win the Cy Young. Of course, that was before Cy Young. Cy Young also didn't win the Cy Young because he was Cy Young, but Cy Young did win 511 games more than anyone else in Major League history. 157 pitchers not named Cy Young have won Cy Youngs. Only 81 players have won MVPs. Jose Abreu and Freddie Freeman won the award last year. 21 players have been MVP twice, 10 have been MVP three times, and the one and only Barry Lamar Bonds, the only man with seven MVPs. Speaking of Bonds, he's the only member of the 500 home run, 500 steals club. He's the only member of the 400 home run, 400 steals club. Seven other players join him in the 300 homer, 300 steals club, and their names are Willie Mays, Alex Rodriguez, Andre Dawson, Carlos Beltran, Reggie Sanders, Steve Finley, and of course, Bobby Bonds, his dad. If we're talking fathers and sons, there have been 249 father-son duos in Major League history. Of course, you know about the Griffies, you know about the Alus, you know about the Guerreros, the Tatises, the Swishers, the Bellingers, and the Biggios. Did you know about Herm and Jack Dosher? Yes, that was the first father-son combo in Major League history. There have been 422 sets of brothers. The brothers with the most home runs are Hank and Tommy Aaron. Hank hit 755 and Tommy hit 13. Still counts. Now for over half a century, between Moses Fleetwood Walker in 1884 and Jackie Robinson in 1947, MLB refused to let any ballplayers of color into the white major leagues. Jackie's debut changed the game forever for the better and helped usher the sport and the league into a new era where not every player in the majors was a Civil War general racist looking dude named Heine. Now we should note that this count of 20,000 players does not include those who only played in the Negro Leagues, but it will soon. Major League Baseball announced this past winter that it would be recognizing those who played in the Negro Leagues from 1920 to 1948 as official major leaguers. We do not know exactly how many players this will add to the count just yet, but we're looking forward to it. Especially because players like Josh Gibson, Yule Suttles, and Buck Leonard were light years better than the players that were playing at the same time, and they deserve to be recognized as official major leaguers. But that 20K does include the legendary Black Aces, a collection of dominant, frontline starting pitchers who all won 20 games in a single season in the majors. That list includes Dave Stewart, Bob Gibson, Fergie Jenkins, and of course, the D-Train, Dontrell Willis. Alex Kenesquel became the first Venezuelan big leaguer in 1939. Ozzy Virgil became the first Dominican big leaguer in 1956. Kiran Bithorn had already become the first Puerto Rican big leaguer in 1942, but it was really the legendary Roberto Clemente in 1955, who helped baseball blossom on the island of Puerto Rico. And don't forget about other trailblazers like Masanori Murakami, who as the first Japanese-born big leaguer in 1964, helped pave the way for dozens of Japanese superstars like Hideo Nomo, Ichiro Suzuki, and of course, Shohei Otani to make the leap across the Pacific. Over 61 different nations around the world have had at least one big leaguer. The Dominican Republic has the most, with 798. A ton of countries have just one, including Belize, Afghanistan, and Denmark. Shouts out to my man, Olaf Henriksen. Also, there is this guy, Ed Pere, who was born at sea, like on a boat in the Atlantic, Just at sea. There's also been a big leaguer from every state and the District of Columbia. 
12 Alaskans, by far the fewest of any state. We've got 251 Scanies from up north. We've got 1,224 New Yorkers. And of course, the leader in the clubhouse with 2,354 players is Idaho. Psych, it's California. All right, Jake, it's time to talk stats. We've got 94 pitchers ever that have thrown immaculate innings. 265 players have thrown no hitters. 21 have thrown perfect games. And a gentleman by the name of John Means threw something very much in between. John Smoltz and Dennis Eckersley are the only players with more than 150 wins and 150 saves. 587 players have become big league managers. 449 different pitchers allowed home runs to Barry Bonds. 1,182 hitters struck out against Nolan Ryan. The shortest big leaguer of all time, Eddie Goodell at three foot seven. The tallest, John Rausch at six foot 11. Satchel Paige was the oldest to ever make his major league debut two days after his 42nd birthday, while Joe Nuxhall was the youngest to make his major league debut. Before he even turned 16, he was suiting up for the Cincinnati Reds in 1942. 1,896 major leaguers have been named All-Stars, but only 235 have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. All right, Jordan, it is name time. Of the glorious 20,000, there have been some phenomenal nicknames. The Big Hurt, Dick Mountain, The Splendid Splinter, Big Poppy, and of course, The Microwave. Tim Adelman, he got hot quick. On the given name side of things, there have been 33 Eds, 20 Freds, 15 Teds, four Neds, three Jeds, and one Shed. Just one Shed? Only one Shed. 56 Wands, 141 Johnnies, and 114 Johnsons. There have been a whopping 563 Roberts, that's 2.6 of all the players ever, but only 312 of them went by Bob. 127 Marks, 92 Eric, 17 AJs, and only one Yoannis. You want some unique names? All right, we'll give you some unique names. How about Chicken Wolf? Van Lingle Munga. Pretzels Getzian. Turkey Stearns. Ossie Schreckengost. Alamazoo Jennings. Drungo Hayeswood. Astianax Douglas. Ed Head. And Butts Wagner. The times have changed and nowadays no one willingly goes by the name Butts. I guess Mookie goes by Butts, but technically Mookie Betts, Betts goes by Mookie. That's all beside the point. The names, certainly a little more normal nowadays, but the players are undeniably better. So shouts out to the superstars of today. Jordan Schusterman, give me five. Michael Nelson Trout, possibly the GOAT. Ronald Acuna Jr. is amazing. I love Juan Soto so much. Fernando Tatis Jr. is the future and Mike Zanino is good. Best pitcher on earth, Jacob deGrom. Best player on earth, Tim LaCastro. Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, and of course, Orioles icon, Cedric Mullins. All of which brings us to Mr. 20K himself, Mariners catcher, Jose Godoy. Put him in the Hall of Fame! This big round number reminds us that no matter how long anyone stays in the major leagues, reaching that level is an absolutely incredible achievement. So congratulations to Jose and to the 19,999 that came before him. Here's to the next 20,000 big leaguers. Cannot wait for Mr. 40K, Jose Godoy the third.